Oh, Andy, thank you very much for coming by to visit me. You are welcome. Oh, thank you for giving me this bag. You are welcome. I believe you can bear witness to me that you have used your welcome countless times that today it has become cliche that anytime someone thank you for doing something, the first thing that comes to your mind is you are welcome. But it's too much. There are a lot of words that you can use to replace you are welcome and then let a the person feel happier the same way you would have felt if you say you are welcome believe you are an ambassador and then the way you present yourself is very important Let's learn English. My name is Andy Opondinchi, a passionate student journalist and a blogger. I'm also the host for the campus show and your ambassadora coach here on the ambassadora coach on YouTube. I'm also an English trainer. On today's episode, we want to learn certain ways to use you are welcome. I believe that the phrase you are welcome has been used countless times. I find myself in it. I'm a victim but I believe that it's supposed to be changed it is a high time you stop using you are welcome there is nothing wrong when you say you are welcome but I strongly feel from where I sit that it has been used over time anytime someone thank you anytime someone appreciates you the first thing and then the thing you say is that you are welcome you can still use your welcome but the first one is you can say you are most welcome when for example you give someone a book on his or her birthday and a person say, oh, thank you so much for the present i really love them you can say oh, you are most welcome the second one is it's a pleasure so you went to school and then a friend of yours came to you and told you oh isaac today i'm very hungry can i join you in going to eat you can say oh, no problem and after eating your friend thank you profusely and then tell you thank you so much for letting me join you at lunch you can tell the person it's a pleasure the next one is don't mention it or you can say no need to thank me bear in mind that these words are the same as you are welcome the fourth one is no thank you so this one is for example your friend gives you her baby for you to babysit her baby while she goes to work or goes to the market to buy something and you babysit her baby at home very nice very welcoming and all that and when she comes for her baby and then she's going and she's thanking you you can say oh no thank you thank you in the sense that or meaning that you are also thanking her that she would have done the same thing for you if you were to be in a place the next one too is happy to help for example maybe you're on your way going to work and then you meet a young lady whom you know also going to school and you give the person a lift to school you can and then the person is thanking you afterwards you can tell the person help happy to help i remember last semester when um we were writing exams latter part of last semester and i left home early not that early but i got stuck in traffic and then where my campus is i had to walk for some less than 15 minutes to get to campus and i remember i had i had alighted at the bus stop i'm trying to walk and then checking the time writing exams if i would walk and then get to campus by the time i get there time will be up and then my colleagues will be seated writing with the invigilators around them and then you know what they'll do they'll question me for coming late so while I was going i stopped a private car i don't know the person and then i beg the person that sir i beg you i'm writing an exam i'm running late for the exam can you give me a lift at the junction and the person said okay come so when i jump in and bear in mind that today this world is getting very dangerous so you can't just jump into someone's car just like that but because of time and i had to risk um me going to start my exams late that's why i had to do that but be careful and then a place you do that at so i stopped there man and then the man gave me the lift to school right in front of our gate and when i finished i thanked the man so in this instance the man can say happy to help 
if he hadn't helped me i would have gone to campus late and then for all you know i would have been denied of writing my exams anytime so someone is in a very tight position it's a it's in a very serious problem and then you jump into the problem to help the person find solution to whatever they are doing and the person is thanking you so strongly um profusely and all that what you can say is that you can say anytime anytime in the sense that anytime at all the person can call upon you the next one too is you can say no worries i enjoy doing this for you so for instance i normally use this often on whatsapp or people also use it in replying to me when i thank them for doing something so someone had stepped in for doing something for me somewhere or for something and then i thank the person oh, thank you very much for stepping in for me this time around the person can tell me oh no worries the last but one thing is sure thing and then you can add that's my job so for instance you are going to um your supermarket to buy something and then the security man at the post opens the door for you and then you enter and it's, you say you tell the security man oh thank you very much the security man can reply sure thing that's my job and then the last thing to say also is that don't sweat it so this is a word that i also use often so when someone is thanking you for doing something um overwhelming for the person can tell the person don't sweat it don't sweat in the sense that the way the person is profusely thanking you the person is doing it so seriously and using a lot of energy and this figurative you can tell the person that oh don't sweat it don't worry don't spoil or don't waste your breath so you can say don't sweat it so these are some ways you can use to replace you are welcome bear in mind i'm not saying you are welcome or the phrase you are welcome is not a good english just that it has been overused and then these are certain words or phrases you can use in place of you are welcome thank you so much for joining us to learn together on this episode as well if you are new here you can subscribe to our youtube channel and then press on the notification button to be reminded anytime we post a new video and also you can like this video share this video with your loved ones and friends and then also you can go through certain videos that we have done that you'll be able to learn a lot of them remember there are words that are homophones we have done a lot of them there try to be able to learn those words and then be able to present yourself well in public as you are supposed to 